Hi, it's Jody Osofsky, Utaki Real Estate. Thanks again for coming back to my blog. Today, we are going to be talking about the uh, common misconceptions about short sales. Before we get started, I want to cover a few quick housekeeping items. The first one is if you want to search the entire MLS for all the homes available today, click the link right over there. And if you're curious what your home's worth in today's market and would like your free home equity report, click the link right over there. Whenever I start to hear something from a buyer, uh, different buyers, two or three times, I, I notice that there's a trend coming about. Never know where the information is coming from, the media, terrible online resources, who knows. But I'd like to just clear the air on a few things. If you or someone you know is in the market in the near future and like everyone else, they want a deal, um, oftentimes buyers seem to think that short sales are that deal source. And most of the time, I'd say 85% of the time, that couldn't be um, less true. So there's a couple things that make short sales unique and different from bank owned or a traditional sale or pretty much anything else out there. Um, the first one that people need to understand is in a traditional sale, when a home's been on the market for a long time and hasn't sold, typically people reduce the price to make it more attractive. Um, in the case of short sales, that doesn't typically happen because the balance continues to rise um, with them the longer that the short sale goes on. When someone's in foreclosure, they uh, are not making payments, so interest and penalties are continuing to accrue. That coupled with most of the time, these loans have mortgage insurance protecting the bank uh, from losing too much money there's not a lot of motivation for the bank to drop the price significantly. So you'll be paying at or just slightly below market price for a home that could be in major disrepair, could uh, need a lot of work, could have some other liens that you would have to pay as a buyer out of pocket to clear the title in order to close on the property. And um, ultimately the bank could just decide to foreclose because it's in their best financial interest. So you could do a lot of waiting as rates rise as well. So before you hang your hat on that bargain short sale that can take, I've had them take up to 13, 14 months, just make sure that you are educated on what the process really looks like and that individual um, home situation. So if you'd like to discuss it further, I'm always game. Jody Osofsky, Utaki Real Estate. Thanks again for tuning in.